In the UK, Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer is facing a significant challenge, and this time from within his own Labour Party. The rebellion was sparked over his government's plan to scrap the winter fuel payment for all but the poorest pensioners. Currently, around 12 million pensioners are eligible for this £300 benefit. But under the new proposal, it will only be available to those on means-tested benefits, like pension credit. What that essentially means is that benefits will be awarded based on the income and capital of pensioners. This decision has led to calls for the Prime Minister to reverse this decision, as many fear that this will leave a large section of pensioners struggling. Ten Labour lawmakers, led by the Pool MP Neil Duncan Jordan, have signed a motion calling for a delay in implementing this change. They argue that the policy was introduced without adequate consultation or an impact assessment, and they claim that it fails to account for the needs of pensioners, with modest incomes who are just above the pension credit threshold. This, combined with rising energy bills, could exacerbate health risks for older people during the winter, increasing their vulnerability to cold-related illnesses. Tory MPs also took aim at the decision, with chants of shame during the Prime Minister's questions in Parliament. Rishi Sunak alleged that Starmer was choosing to fund inflation-busting pay rises for train drivers over support for vulnerable pensioners. Now, Mr Speaker, government is about making choices, and the new Prime Minister has made a choice. He has chosen to take the winter fuel allowance away from low-income pensioners and give that money to certain unionised workforces in inflation-busting pay rises. So can I just ask the Prime Minister, why did he choose train drivers over Britain's vulnerable pensioners? The motion also highlights concerns that the policy could deepen fuel poverty and health inequalities amongst older people. Duncan Jordan and others are advocating for a comprehensive strategy to address these issues before the cuts are implemented. Now, despite this rebellion, Starmer and his government defended the plan as a necessary step. So we've had to take tough decisions to stabilise the economy and repair the damage, including targeting winter fuel payments whilst protecting pensioners. 800,000 pensioners are not taking up pension credit. We intend to turn that around. We're going to align housing benefit and pension credit, something the previous government deferred year after year after year. And because of our commitment to the triple lock, Pensions are projected to increase by over a thousand pounds in the next five years.